Hey there. Are you having a good day today? I think that maybe you're not. So let me let me lift you up a little bit. First of all, stop caring what people think about you. I had a great day today. Probably the best day I've ever had in my life. The reason for that is a couple things. Let me just make sure we're all good here. Oh yeah, we're crispy. We're crispy! Okay, so when I say stop caring what people think about you, well, it's as simple as that, champ. You think about what other people think about you too much. Stop. First of all, there ain't, there ain't no point. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't just not care about what other people think about you. Just don't think about other people thinking about you. Don't try so hard. Just be you. And I hope you is good, but don't fret about other people. Now, here's the thing. You know there's a customer service speak, uh, so have you, that there is a a way you talk to people in customer service. Let me just adjust this real quick. Come here. Come here. There you are. I know you want to look at me. All right. So what I mean is, is when you talk to customers in customer service, there's a certain way that you speak. And you have to have an unshakable, unshakable customer service vibe, right? That being said, so, so you're gonna be smiley, you're gonna be happy, you're gonna smile with your eyes too, because you don't have to smile with your teeth. You have to smile with your eyes as well. I mean, you have to like look at people and be like, hey, how can I help you today? You know, that right there, that's smiling, and I'm not even using this yet. It's very much, hey, not locks in. Why you gotta lock in? You ain't gotta lock in. They're not the, they're not your prey, calm down, right? So don't, don't RBF them, all right? I know you have an RBF, just think about smiling. You don't have to actually go, okay? But just think about smiling to that person and also, be positive towards them. Have all of your positive energy towards that person and you will intent like you will subconsciously start talking to them a certain way. You'll start smiling at them even with your eyes. You can actually smile with your eyes, your eyebrows, your facial structure. That's why during COVID when people had masks on, you can still smile at people. It's a glow in your eye and people notice those things. And they also notice when it's missing. Now, why do you do that? Why do I care about anybody else? Why Why should I care about making other people's day? I mean, like, like why would I want to treat others how I want to be treated? That's stupid. <laughs> Buddy, you're stupid, okay? Because it's very true. Karma exists. If you give that negative energy out, they're going to give it right back. If they're irritated already, and you bring out that irritation outside of them, if you irritate them more, if they, if you push their buttons, if you come off the wrong way to them, they are not having it at all. They are pissed off. Now you gotta deal with more problems, and now you go home and you say, well, this person sucked today. This person was talking to me, and man, it's just, they just were garbage. And you gotta think, Man, did you even, did you, did you instigate it? Yeah, you did. Don't lie to me. I know you instigated it. Uh, you can say that they're a bad person, and maybe they were, but you, you definitely finished it, didn't you? They started it, but you finished it. And you're in customer service, man, you're going to see plenty of people like that. A lot of people like that, they just don't want to be listened to. They want someone to listen to their problems. And yeah, it can be a little irritating, but if you're positive towards them, you're gonna get the best side of them. And 20 other people could have interacted with them and they're all gonna say the most disgusting things about you, but then they're gonna say, hey, that guy Luke was pretty cool to me. That guy was nice. Everyone else here was garbage, but Luke was a pretty good guy. And then you look like the hero in the situation. I think it's important to have a good outlook like that in life because then you start talking to everyone in customer service yourself a little bit better. Now, as a customer service person, let's say 
I work in registration at a hospital, but maybe you're a server. Maybe you are, are a retail clerk, right? So now when you go to restaurants, you go check into the hospital, or maybe you go to uh, Publix or whatever, and you're checking out for the day. You smile at somebody with your eyes. You say, oh, how you doing? And you authentically listen to them and not be like, hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing good, how about you? Chill out, brother. You ain't gotta do all that. Just stop freaking people out. Cause let's be real. I know you're in customer service and I know you have, there's, I would say 10% of it, you have to be a little bit over the top fake, right? But the other 90% is 100% me. You see what I mean? So yeah, I had a little flair on top of myself, but for the most part, I'm me, I'm authentic. I'm authentically kind to a person. You can actually self-actualize that positivity towards other people. So stop caring what other people think of you. You see, first impressions matter. And if you get off put by a first impression of someone else, or they get off put by you, you have to not care about what they think about you. You have to be like, oh, actually, I was just saying that. And they go, oh, okay, never mind. So they, they were getting ready to be up here with you, and you brought them down. Because they saw your face, and they're like, damn, you're ugly. Man, I want to talk to you. You're ugly. And actually, that is a real thing. Fun fact, pretty privilege is a male and female thing. So... If you're an ugly dude, or maybe not, maybe you ain't looking as fresh today, or maybe somebody just doesn't like your face or the way your facial structure is, it really might be just on them. Hell, they may even have a problem with pretty people. But whoa, whoa, I don't, I don't like the way you're mogging me right now, little. Right? They don't, some, some people are like, whoa, 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 hey, stop that. You know? And they get a little freaked out. They're like, hey, what you, hey, what are you trying to pull right now? Why are you trying to be so nice to me? Some people are very traumatized, and they literally are off-put by you being kind. They're so not used to being kind, they have no idea what's going on. So yeah, I would say that's a big problem in this world, really. But you gotta, you gotta be kind to people, so hopefully that's not as prevalent. So when you're kind to somebody, they don't go immediately, whoa, hey, you know? And when you're mean to somebody, they're definitely going to say that. So be kind to people. And then when they're, you know, maybe they're not having a good day or whatever, they're a negative person, you can just put, brush it off. So stop caring what other people think of you because there are nihilists and pessimists out there in the world and they, they look at every positive person as an idiot. And they look at every positive person and see, how can I bring them down today? Now, they're not trying to manipulate that you. They just, they're angry, and they want to bring you down with them because they, they're just mad that you're happy. They're jealous. And, you know, man, I was, always the, I was always the pessimist. And now here I am saying this. I'm telling you, these videos are good for me. The gym's good for me. Um, getting my thoughts out there with these videos. I've been journaling and stuff, and also just genuinely, I just started day shift two weeks ago, and today's the first day I'm actually smiling, like, ever. I had a great day at the gym. I, I'm just, I have a better outlook on life just from working day shift and having a decent job, having consistency in my life. If you've never had a nine to five job, mine's technically seven to four, but my point is, is that I have a great job right now. I work eight hours, I go to the gym, I go home, I shower, I eat some food, <laughs> and then I vibe out for four hours. I do a little bit of homework, and then I chill out. I can play video games or do whatever. I was doing that already on my days off. Yeah, I don't get to play video games for 12 hours straight anymore, but what I do get to do is play it for two hours a day, every single day maybe even four. So I'm going through TV shows right now like nobody's business. I'm listening to a podcast at work. I'm just chilling at work. The vibe is a lot better. And it's just overall, I have a better consistent life. Now, if you're a, 
if you have a family, that might be a good option for you too. If you got kids at home and you got somebody that, you know, maybe works at night and then you work in the morning, so then you get home at five and they leave at five to go to work, that kind of thing, that can be problematic because then you never see each other. If you both have a nine to five, then who's watching the kids? Hopefully they're at school all day, but somebody's got to take them to work, so you have to have a flexible work schedule. So I understand if you want to do 12-hour shifts or maybe overnight shifts, but I tell you what, if you've never tried it before, try it, because these first two weeks have really changed my life, hugely. They have, they, I have altered a great deal of my life with it. It's truly amazing. But what, what I'm trying to say is stop what other people are thinking about you. I'm, I'm trying to stop caring about what other people think about you. I'm trying to get back to that. I'm trying to get back to that. I'm just, I've been, I've having a great day. So when you care about what other people think about you, you lie. And when you lie, you're dishonest. When you're dishonest, that's just disgusting. You should never be dishonest with people. And being like being dishonest with people is just not a good quality. And if you if you stop caring about what other people think of you, you will be the most honest person. People are drawn to honest people. First of all, you're funny as hell. You are a funny person when you're honest because you say some stuff that other people will not say at all, right? And you got to think, yes, you need to bite your tongue on some things. That's not necessarily lying. That's just keeping your mouth shut. There's certain stuff that you shouldn't say. And be honest with yourself and say, do I really need to say this? Probably not, do I? You're not being honest and real with somebody by saying that, you know, blah, 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 blah. Don't, don't do that. Seriously, it, it's not good. It doesn't foster any improvements. Just don't, don't be yapping like that. But what I mean is, when you got something that needs to be said, even though it might be an ugly truth, and it's for the betterment of everyone, you need to, you need to say something. You need to be honest. Being, being honest. And uh, taking accountability for yourself. Man. But that being said, with the, uh, with not caring about what other people think of you. Man. Let me take a pause real quick. Taking accountability and also, I would say, not letting external factors determine who you are and also other people who you are. Now, what do you mean by that? Well, okay, so what if someone tells you, hey man, you're kind of ugly. Hang on one second. Hey, now... Apparently, I've got to redo this part of the video because apparently we've got to split this up now. But let's get back into it. So I think that you shouldn't let external factors determine who you are. Now, what do you mean by that, Luke? Well, I think you should take accountability for your actions. I, I think that you should listen to what other people say. But when it comes time to having other people influence you, I don't think you should do that. Let's say someone looks at you and they say, hey man, you're kind of pudgy. And then someone else says, you're kind of, you're kind of big, bro. You're kind of fat. Damn, big boy. You, you eat enough? Say some shit like that? My bad for cussing, right? So they say some stuff like that and you're like, man, you know, you say it, you say it back, you say, hey, you know what, fuck you, all right? So, you get a little angry, you get a little upset, and you're like, hey man, I don't like that. And then you go, okay, let me take the 90% of them just like razzing on me out of the equation. That right there is caring what other people think of you. Don't let that opinion of them influence who you are. Don't let them influence that and don't like let them hurt your feelings about it so if someone calls you fat 
or someone calls you ugly or whatever, or someone calls you single as hell, don't, don't let them determine your feelings on your own self. Take that information, though. Take it. Strip it apart. Take the emotion out of it. Take the fact and go, hold on, let me hold on to this. I put it right here. And then I take another one and another one and another one. And then I have a couple different responses here. And they're all saying the same thing. Now you start to think to yourself, okay, let me look at myself here. Let me say, okay, am I, you know, regarding outside of like dudes taking trend and stuff that are like rip as hell in the gym. I'm saying, am I hop happy with my body? Am I happy being single? Am I happy with my diet? Am I happy at my job? Am I happy at work? You know, am I happy with my education? Okay, so now you're asking yourself these questions and these questions were brought on by the opinions of others. Now you start answering these questions. Yes, no, I don't know. I gotta think about that. No, that can't be right. No, I don't really care about what they said that. That don't matter. I, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I don't really care what they said. This this is what's good to me. I am fine with this. I don't think there's anything wrong with this. I've done the research. I don't think there's any problem with being single for the next couple months. I don't think I'm that lonely. Okay. Those are some good options. You've answered your own questions. Now you have done internal work. You have taken something external, you have turned it into an internal question, and now you have answered that internal question. Now you have to say, okay, what are my plans of improving myself on my own without other people involved? You, everything that you do is entirely up to you. It is your choice. You have your freedoms. It is your freedom to do better or for worse for yourself. Don't let anyone influence who you are or what you will going what you will be able to do. That being said, so when you're influenced by other people, you're going to stop letting them influence you, right? You're going to stop letting them control how you think, right? I hope so. I hope you're better than that, bro. I hope that when the next person that comes up to you and says that, you're going to think about it. You're going to hold on to it. You're going to rip the emotions out of it. You're going to throw the emotions right back at them. Then you're going to take that fact. You're going to hold it here. You're going to make a list of people saying that fact to you. You're going to take all those, put them together, make it a question to yourself. You're going to take that question. You're going to turn it into an answer. You're going to say, am I fat? Yes, I am fat. I am 10 pounds overweight and fat. Okay. Now I'm going to take that 10 pounds of overweight and I'm going to say, how can I, I can lose this? Well, statistically speaking, I can lose about 500 calories a week or 500 calories a day. That's a good deficit to have. I can also lose about one to two pounds a week. And in the next four to six weeks, I should be able to lose that fat. Okay. That is good. Now, what if I don't do that? Well, I need to relook at my my goals. I need to figure out, well, maybe I need to go more extreme or maybe a little bit less extreme. Maybe I should try only losing one pound per week. Or am I okay with that fat on me and I just start building up some muscle? So I still eat the same amount of calories. I still eat the same amount of calories I am. All I do is I just try to increase my muscle, maintain the calories, get a little bit more protein into my diet, and then uh, eventually, hopefully, I, uh, you know, I, I do pretty well. I get some more muscles, and then when it's time to cut again, that 10 pounds is probably 15, but then I lose it in a month. You see, so because you got more muscles now, you burn a lot more calories just existing, and now you're at a better standing. So you see what I mean? There's, there's a whole process behind improving yourself. And it's a lot to navigate. And you can't simply dilute that down to, yeah, 20 people told me I was fat, so I just got to the gym. Guess what's going to happen? You're going to lose a bunch of weight. 
you're gonna get skinny and then next month you're gonna be fat again and you're gonna be right back to square one because it was motivation someone motivated you externally and that's just disgusting please I implore you once you watch this video do not use this as motivation don't be motivated by my video be inspired okay I think it's inspiration is good I think that mindset is good I think consciously consuming this is good I think your thought process and mindset are good but never be motivated by a video you can only motivate yourself with music and maybe a video but don't entirely use these videos and in these this music and in these podcasts to your your motivation to go to the gym don't do that brother don't you don't want to do that you're not going to get very far with that what you need to do is take it and put it into your mindset put it in your your calluses of your mind david goggins your your uh, toolbox for your brain you know okay i know that if i have someone coming up to me and calling me fat i need to take the emotion out of it and go through the process i need to go through this process of 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 therapy really you are thinking through your mind you're thinking about how el someone else perceives you you're thinking about how you perceive yourself and how you want to perceive yourself in the future and how you want to be in the future. That's a lot of work for your mind. That don't happen in one day. That takes work and dedication. That takes discipline. That doesn't take motivation. That takes work. You have to work at this. So when you go to the gym next time, you know, you listen to your music, man. But, but listen to your music consciously. Acknowledge the fact that if your earbuds come undone right now, your earbuds die, are you going to be able to go to the gym still? Yeah, you better. Let's say if your gym is closed today and it's chest day, you're going to go home and do some push-ups, right? Like, don't just give up. I know you got some dumbbells at the house. I know there's a park near your house that you can go to to do some pull-ups. There's always another option. There's always another alternative. You got to problem solve this, man. You got to figure out, man, how am I going to how am I going to fix this? How am I going to improve? And that's how you stop caring about what other people think of you. And once you do that, man, your your whole life is going to change. You're going to take accountability for your actions. You're going to be taking people for their accountability and you're going to make sure that they stay accountable for them too you're going to hold people accountable to you you know I'm like I have standards for myself here and I expect you to be at relatively the same standards if you're not at my standards that I hold for myself how can I respect you as a person or a friend or a co-worker or anything else like that or in a relationship so take accountability man and stop caring what other people think of you. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you.